Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Edge panel on the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. The Edge panel is right here on the side of your screen, and this allows you to easily get to contacts, screenshots, all kinds of things right on the side very easily. So the first thing that you'll notice is here on the side, it's always there. So no matter what application you are in, it is going to show up on the side of the screen so you can easily swipe over and you can get to the edge. So now I'm gonna show you how you can edit the edge. So all you have to do is swipe over and here at the bottom you have the edge settings. So let's click on there. And then here we can choose the different panels that we want to show. So here we have the apps edge, that's gonna show your favorite apps, people's edge, your favorite people or contacts, smart select, clipboard edge, task edge, and all these different types that you can use. So you can go through each one of these and play with them. A few of my favorite ones that I like to turn on and enable is the quick tools. So you just select there at the top to turn it on. Here I can turn on calendar, and then um, you can turn on sports score. And there are many different panels that you can also click download and go and get more. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. So I think there's a calculator app here that I can click and download and then I can have a calculator right on the side of my phone. Now let's go back and here in the settings, uh, if I want to, I can reorder how these are set up. So I can click on the settings, click reorder, and then I can change the place. So maybe whenever I swipe over, I want to see people first. And then let's say I want to change my calendar and move it to the beginning, I can do that right here. So when you're done with that, you can select back and then if I click settings again, I can do handle settings. So is what this will allow me to do is I can change how the handle looks here. So the first one, I can have it instead of being on the right, I can move it over to the left side of the screen. So now it shows up here. If I want to adjust where that is on the screen, I can move it up or down. Let's move this back over to the right side. I can do the same. If I want the edge panel to be larger, I can move this over from small to large. So here you can see that it's really big or I can make it really small. And then if I want to, I can make it transparent. So right now it is showing up on the screen and if you take a screenshot, it will show up. But is what you can do is take this all the way down to high transparency and then you will not see the edge at all, which is really cool. So if you take a screenshot, it will still be there. So now that I know that my edge is right here, if I click home, I swipe over, I still have the edge settings right there. So we're gonna go back and those are all the main settings of the edge. You also have uninstall or right here you have turn off. So if you want the edge to just be gone and you don't wanna see it at all, that is how you can turn it off. And then in here, you also have each panel that has an edit option. So here I can click edit on the people, my favorite people, and I can go in here and remove anyone that I want to or put back others. And then if I want to add more contacts, I can do that right here. And you can do that for each application that you have. So now when I'm back on the edge, you'll see that here is all the different edge panels that I have. So if I go to my first one, now we have the favorites. And if I wanna add a favorite here, I can click the plus. Here you can see your calendar, which is really nice. So say you're texting somebody and you wanna quickly get to your calendar, you just swipe over and now you can see that to make sure that you're free and you don't have to leave the app that you're currently in. I can go over here, I have my favorite apps. So if I want to edit this, I can just hold down on it and let's say I wanna remove Chrome and I wanna add any of the applications on my phone, I can do that. So I wanna click Facebook, it will pop up over here. I can even drag items into a folder. So if I want to put these in the folder, it will place it in there. And then when I'm done, I just need to click the back button. And now it has adjusted that. And here we have Smart Select. You can easily take a screenshot. I have a video explaining all those features in the link above. And then here we have the clipboard edge, which is really cool. So whenever you take a screenshot, it will show up over here on the side. So maybe there's a screenshot you're always going back to or even something that you copy. So here, maybe I want to share, go to youtube.com forward slash tech with Brett. So if I click here, it will just pull up the information about what is copied. But if I click the copy icon right here, it is actually going to paste that 
into the text field that I had. You can also do that with any of the pictures. So here I click that and it's gonna drop it in. And if I want to, I can hold down and then it will give me the option to drag it where I want, which is really cool. So that is the clipboard settings. Maybe I want this to always be there. I can hold down and I can lock it and then it won't remove. So when you use the clipboard and start copying things, other items are removed so that you don't see them anymore. But if you always want that to be there, you can click lock and then it won't ever be removed. Then you can sort by which category is going to show up over here. So if I just wanna see the text that I've copied or I wanna see the images, I can do all that right here on the side. Then we have Tasks Edge. So this is really cool. This allows you to complete a task just by one click. So say I wanna take a selfie. Here this says take selfie. I click it, it automatically goes into my camera and puts on the selfie option. So I can do that really easily. If I swipe this out, I have a few other options. I can compose message, create a task. Here I even added a photo album. So maybe I wanna always go and show people certain photos here I added the family album. If I click plus, you can see all the different options that we have here. So we can do calendar, camera, clock, sending emails, viewing items, composing messages, starting notes, recording, all kinds of things that you can do. And you have the option to remove. You can just drag one of these over and that is how that works. So let's say I want to go into the family photo album. There it jumps right into the album. I don't have to go search through my photos to find that specific album. So now here is our little quick tools. It's gonna to tell me some information, my latitude and longitude. We can calibrate it. We also have a ruler here on the side that we can change from inches to centimeters. We also have the flashlight. So here I can turn it on and off. I also can adjust the brightness here on the side. And then you can go through and see that we have gone through the whole panel. So whenever I start this, it will start where I left off. So here we are on the calendar, I swipe over, it is back on the calendar. And then if I wanna to go to the full app, I can click up here and it will jump right into that full application. And that is how you use the Edge panel. It's so convenient, really easy to put and customize where you want it exactly on the screen. Thank you so much for joining me to learn all about the app's Edge. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like this video about the Galaxy S8 and you wanna see more and become a part of my Galaxy S8 crew, all you need to do is head on over to YouTube and go to my channel page. When you get to my page, you wanna click on the playlist and scroll down until you find how to use Galaxy S8, S8 Plus. When you open that up, you will see a bell that you can turn on so that you can enable notifications. So whenever I post a new video about the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, you will instantly be notified. Make sure you also subscribe so you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.